Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. I do appreciate you spending a little time with this old man. Today's beer is Goose Island's Bourbon County Brand Stout. This was sent to me by Dave. This is the 2017 edition. Uh, this is a great big beer coming in at 14.1%. Uh, definitely one you would drink at home. Or have a designated driver if you're drinking it out somewhere in a bar or brew pub or anything like this. One of these is enough to get you in trouble. So please drink responsibly. I uh, don't want to see anybody get in trouble or hurt anybody themselves or any innocent people. Uh, big beer, monster beer here, guys. Uh, not a big fan of Goose Island since they sold out to AB InBev. I don't buy their beers anymore, but I do review them when they are sent to me. And like I said, Dave sent this to me. Uh, I think the Bourbon County brands, their body wines and stouts, are still very, very, very tasty, guys. They're not cheap beers to buy. Uh, this is their top-of-the-line beer, for flagship beers, if you will. Uh, and I still find them very, very tasty, guys. I just don't feel that I need to support AB InBev. Uh, I'm not a fan of what they do. I'm not a fan of the beers they produce. I'm not a fan of the breweries they buy up and then snub their nose at us. Uh, it's just my opinion though, guys. Uh, so, uh, it is what it is. Final beer of the evening for me here, guys. I thought I would get this one out and get a review. We did the barley wine not, not too long ago and uh, that Dave sent me. So, we're going to do the uh, the stout. Uh, I do find this is probably their tastiest beer, guys. Between this and the body wine, the bourbon barrel age versions, very, very, very tasty. Very nice and well done beers. And this being a 14.1% monster beer. Just remember that if you're drinking this, uh, especially if you're not at home. Uh, let's see if we got any additional information we need to talk about. Uh, Untapped has this at 60 IBUs. Their commercial screen says the original Goose Island Bourbon County brand stout, intense aromas of charred oak, vanilla, caramel, and smoke. So, that is it. It is time to pop the top on this thing. All right. And see what we got. A little bit of his, a little bit of smoke. They spent a lot of money, I would say, on having these special bottles printed up with Goose Island embossed in the glass. And uh, they changed their, their their bottles and labeling a couple years ago. So uh, it is what it is. I'm sure this is not a cheap bottle of beer to buy. All right, guys. Food pairing cheese is buttery, brie, good Havarti Swiss. Uh, general chocolate, digestive, meat, beef, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat. Glass for the pint, Becker Nolly Tumbler Snifter, oversized wine glass. I got my favorite tulip glass today, guys. and can be solid for a long period of time. We can almost get it all in there, but I'm going to leave a little room for my big old nose to get down in there. Not much of a head. It is pitch black, guys. Not getting any light at all. Through the nose we go. <sighs> big bourbon notes on this one, guys. Very sweet smelling. Roasted malt. Chocolate, bourbon, caramel, toffee, black molasses. Maybe some hints of some dark fruit in there. It's cold right out of the fridge. Those notes will probably open up a little bit as I let it warm up to room temperature, which I always do. Smells delicious. Smells absolutely delicious. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Dave.
absolutely outstanding guys when I look when I look for a bourbon barrel aged stout this would probably be one of the top ten that I think would be worth purchasing even though I don't purchase them it is very very well done and there are a lot of people that used to drink these beers from this brewery before they were bought out and they say it was better then than it is now I was not fortunate enough to be able to get my hands on it before they were bought out but I still find it very very tasty beer uh, this the uh, Bourbon County series would probably if I was to buy their beer would probably be the only ones that I would be interested in spending my money on their body wines and their stouts uh, in this series are exceptionally well done to me. Mm. Very delicious for a 14.1 percent alcohol, super well hidden. This would, like I said, would get you into trouble. You would drink this in a bar or a brew pub and go, "That's pretty tasty." And if you don't know what you're drinking, you would think, oh man, this is like a 7 or 8 percenter. No, it's twice that. 14.1 percent. That's what I'm saying. You would drink this and you think, oh, I'm okay. I can drive. And then you go through a road check or a DUI checkpoint and bam, before you know it, you're in the back seat of a police car with damn handcuffs on. So uh, just be careful, guys. Uh, this is a very well made beer. It is, uh, the alcohol is super well hidden. And you might think, oh, I can drink that and drive. You're taking your chances. You're taking your driver's license in your own hands. And in this state, you get a DUI, you're looking at 10 grand in inconvenience fees, lawyers, court costs, uh, uh, VASAP, uh, 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 machine in your car if you have a job. If you don't have a job, you won't even be able to drive anymore. If you got a job, you... Uh, they'll let you have a drive back and forth to work only. That's the only places you can go. And uh, they try to inconvenience you as much as they possibly can, uh, monetarily and physically. So getting a DUI is not what you want to do. It is a life-changing event. Just remember that. Drink responsibly, guys. Well, I'm going to step on this. It's right out of the fridge. Let her taste it, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Been stepping on it for a while. Very, very tasty beer, guys. Like I said earlier, I think this is the Bourbon County series is the best that they produce in Goose Island. Even though I'm not a fan, the uh, ABM Bab has bought this brewery out. They seem like they still regain control of what's coming out of there. And I've had people that, like I said, that had their beers before ABM had bought it out and they think the beer was better then than it is now and I didn't get a chance to taste those beers then I've only been able to taste them since ABM had bought them out and I find them very very tasty beers uh, especially in this series uh, that would probably be the only two beers that I would actually spend my money on if I did is the Bourbon County Series barley, barley wine and their stouts, the bourbon barrel aged versions of both of those beers. I find them very tasty, guys, and, and this is no exception. The 2017 edition, very, very tasty. Alcohol is super well hidden for 14.1%. The bourbon is there, rich roasted malt, caramel toffee, black molasses, hints of uh, bittersweet chocolate, maybe some dark fruit. Very nice, very well done beer. Uh, as much as I hate, and I say that with big bold capital letters, A, B, N, B, uh, they are still producing some tasty beers in this series. That, and I understand why they do that. They get better distribution and they get capital to do other things, expand and, and do other, you know. Uh, it's a win-win situation for a lot of breweries to do that, but I'm just not a fan of it, especially when ABM Bev thumbs their nose at uh, craft beer, and uh, it'd be a cold day in hell before I ever drank another Budweiser unless unless I had some orange, some orange, some uh, tomato juice put in, make a red eye with it or not. Usually, if that's all that's available, 
I'll drink ice water. And that's the way I feel about it. I don't drink that crap no more. No crap beer for this guy. And I don't want to be a beer snob, but uh, I just don't. Uh, I drank enough Budweiser in my years to float a battleship around. I mean, I gave them thousands and thousands of dollars over the years that I drank it before I got into craft beer. I just don't buy their beers anymore. I don't find them very tasty. I don't find them appealing. And I just don't buy them. I just don't like them anymore. I want something with a little more taste. This has it. Final chip. Very delicious, guys. I, I can't fault this beer any at all. Uh, to me, it's a 10 beer. As much as it traps my ass to give that grade to an AB and bad product, this is an awesome beer. It's very, 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 very well done. Uh, alcohol super well hidden. A lot of taste. Bourbon notes of there. Everything that you want in a bourbon barrel aged imperial stout. So, that being said, let's run over to Beer Advocate. They say 4.6 out of 5. Awesome numbers from those guys over there. They say world class, and I agree. It is. It is a world class beer, guys. Uh, Untapped has it at 4.49. Not the best numbers from them, but pretty damn impressive numbers. It's it's an A beer, guys. There's no doubt about it. It's an A beer. Uh, they've got the vintage on the bottle. It's a 20. 17 edition. I don't know what part of the year they've done it, but to the style of beer, it doesn't really matter uh, what they've done it in January, July, or December of 2017. Uh, this beer will sell her very, very well for a long period of time. So, uh, very well done. And I knew it was going to be, guys. Uh, uh, the Bourbon County series is awesome. It is awesome. Now, as far as anything else, not interested at all. Would not spend my money on it. But the Bourbon County Series beers still seem to be very, very tasty. And whoever the head brewery is there, it seems like they're still allowed to produce a very tasty beer. So if you've had this one, this is a 2017 edition of Goose Island's Bourbon County Brand Stout. Uh, this is a 2017, like I said, at 14.1%. Let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge. <laughs>